Welcome to our lesson on addition and in this video we are going to learn how to add single digits. Okay, now here in part A they are asking us to add 5 and 3. Now this can be calculated or this can be worked many ways. Um, we are going to be looking at more than one ways to do this. The first, However, the first method that we are going to use, we are going to be using uh, models. Okay our pictures so for example if we're asked to add five stars plus three stars let's see a total of how many stars we would have gotten so for example uh, the first method that we're going to use to add five and three we're going to use pictures okay to add pictures or you may see slash models okay models now let's say I had um, stars and as I said I have um, first you can you choose any number five stars I'm going to choose first let me just change my color quickly so here I had one two three four five stars okay and let's say I am adding another three stars to that uh, let me just change my color again quickly Let's say I'm adding three more stars, so that's I would have one, two, three, four. Sorry, that should be three stars. Okay. Now let's see a total of how many stars do we have? Here I would have one star. Let me just circle them quickly. Here I would have this is one star. That's two stars. Three, four, five, six, seven eight stars so I would have a total of I would have a total a total of eight stars okay let me just write it there quickly so this would give me a total of eight stars okay so we can say then that five plus three is equal to eight now as I've said that's one way of of looking at it Earlier we looked at the place value system and we showed you how um, numbers are arranged in the place value system or base 10 system and if you're not sure you could always review the playlist on the place value system. Now since these numbers are single digits we could also add them in our place value system chart. For example, for example we could have said the 5, anyone you can choose, it's a single digit so each single digit so let me just make a note here part two we're going to be adding the same numbers by using our place value system okay so this is another method place value value system okay and another name for place value system is the base 10 okay base 10 now now in our place value system or base 10 um, since these numbers are single digits they would fall in the units column okay so I would have for example I would have a 5 and then I would have a 3 exactly below that okay and since I'm adding I would draw my line and put my plus sign because in addition the sign and maybe I didn't say that earlier but for addition the sign that goes for addition is the plus sign and let me just make a note of it here is the plus and the plus sign looks like a cross okay good now again um, they are all lined up together and as we had showed here with the pictures 5 plus 3 I would get an 8 so that 8 would fall exactly below below the numbers okay in that same column all right good and if you notice everything is lined up under each other okay that's very important to note that all of these numbers if you notice they are lined up exactly underneath each other to show that they are in the units column and just let me make a note of that since they are single digits all single digits falls in the units column or you could say units or the ones column okay now the third and final method that I'm going to use to show you how to add add these two numbers 5 and 3 I'm going to use my number line okay so I'm showing you a bunch of ways number line okay so I'm showing you a bunch of ways that we could use to add 
5 and 3 these single digits and we would still get the same answer so let's just quickly grab our number line now here we have our number line so quickly let me just place our number or number line now if you notice um, and <clears throat> you should know what a number line is by now if you're not sure you could always revisit our playlist on on the number line where we introduce the number line to you okay so here firstly I would have a zero there my origin and then I'm going up by one unit so I would have one two three four five six seven and eight okay let me just pull this down a bit so that we can have a little more space to work with okay that's a little bit more space to work with let me just quickly just pull this down a bit for us the second problem here we'll work this in the second problem in the next video so let me just pull it down a bit so we have a lot more space working with all right now here we are looking at the same values five and three and we're looking at how we add these numbers on the number line okay let me just go up a little bit more i would have a nine then ten eleven twelve twelve let me just correct that twelve and thirteen fourteen fifteen and 16 okay so that's it now if i am adding five and three on my number line again um, you can start at any one of these values, okay, whether 5 or 3. I'm going to choose to start from 3, okay, to show it doesn't matter. Now, 3 is a positive number, and if I'm representing a positive number on a number line, I would go to my right, okay? And if I'm representing a negative number on a number line, I would go to my left. So since 3 is a positive number, I'm going to start at my origin, which is 0, and I'm going to move 3 places to my right. So that's one place I've moved that's two and this is three so here I have moved three units to my right so I've represented the three here this value I've just represented that value on the number line now secondly I'm going to represent the five on the number line okay so let me change the color quickly let me use a red okay now I'm going to represent my five on the number line so from three I'm moving five places to my right okay or five units so this would be one this would be two units that would be three units this would be four and I am at my fifth unit and if you notice I have stopped at the number eight so I've stopped at 8, so 8 here that I've stopped would be my answer. And if you notice, in the first instance, I moved 3, so let me just write it there. So here I moved 3 places, and then we had moved 5 places here. So we can say 3 plus 5, let me put the plus sign there, we can say 3 plus 5, 3 units plus 5 more units will give me a total of eight units okay and here you will see me have my eight stars there when I use stars and in my place value system you see me have the number eight there and yes guys it's it's as simple as that but however if you have any comments or question you can feel free to post them and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye